Let me show you how to set up cool visual and sound alerts just like this guy right here to enhance your Twitch streams. The cool thing about these visual and sound alerts is that you're gonna be able to use them for bits or for channel points. But in order to set up these new cool alerts, we're gonna be using today's sponsor, OwnPro. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can easily follow along at home. Once you're on the homepage, we're gonna click on join for free. Then you can simply just click login with Twitch and click authorize. We can go over to the left-hand side and click on extensions. Then we're gonna look for one that says visual and sound alert. So we're going to click on that. Now we're going to click the install now button, which is right above my head. It's going to bring us to our Twitch extensions page. Now we can simply hit the install button and now it's going to prompt us to configure it own pro. But before we do that, we're actually just going to go to the activate tab with the little drop down, just add it as a panel. Then we're going to click the configure button again. Now we're going to configure it own pro. Now you can see we have two different options, which is the configure button and the uninstall extension button, but we're going to click the configure button. From here, we're going to choose what broadcasting tool we use. So if you use OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS or Twitch Studio. You're going to pick either or. For this video, I'm going to pick OBS Studio. It's basically the same exact process, so don't worry about it. The first thing we have to do is set up a browser source to show the actual alert. And then after that, we're going to set up a browser source to actually display everything on the screen. So the first one is just for the alert. So I'm actually going to use the copy and paste method. So I'm going to click on that. And then conveniently hidden behind my webcam, I'm going to click this little button that says copy URL to clipboard. So in our streaming software, we're going to go to sources. We're going to click add. We're going to click browser source. I'll call this one owned alerts. And then we're going to click OK. Now we're going to paste the URL we just got. And then we're going to change the width to 520 and the height to 290. And then we're going to click OK. So this is going to be the alert box that shows up after the visual or sound effect has played. And so you can just kind of drag this wherever you want. I'm just going to leave it up here because it doesn't really matter too much. Now that we've made the browser source for the alert box, now we need to make it for the visuals. So now we're going to click the next button and we're we're gonna go with the install visuals and sound. So we're gonna click that button, then we're gonna click it again. It's gonna install the own desktop app because that's what's going to display the actual visuals on your screen, which is really cool because not only does it show up in your streaming software, but it actually shows up over your computer screen and your game. But I'll go more into depth on that later. So we're gonna run the new app that we just got. If it says it needs to update or if it triggers any of your firewall stuff, it's okay, I've ran this before. So just allow everything and put it through all the updates if it has any like this one right here. So we're going to click restart. It says it mostly runs in windowed mode as well as a list of verified games. Basically what this is saying is that you can play pretty much any game that you want as long as it has a borderless windowed mode. And if it doesn't have a borderless windowed mode, then play it in windowed mode. Otherwise the visual effects won't appear on your screen over your game on your actual monitor. I'll give you a demo showing you what I mean later, but just keep that in mind. So now that we have this installed, we're just going to quickly minimize it. And now we're going to click next. Now we need to do our visuals browser source. So we're going to do the copy and paste method. Then we're going to copy this URL to clipboard once again. We're going to go into our streaming software. We're going to add another browser source and we're going to call this one owned visuals and click OK. Now we're going to paste the URL we just got and now we're going to change the display to what our display is for my stream. So I'm streaming in 1920 by 1080p. So I'll click OK and that'll stretch it over the entire capture. So now we have both the alert box and then now we have the visuals over the entire stream screen. So now we can click the next button. It says we can set the extension as a panel, but we already did that earlier, if you remember, so we don't have to worry about that. So now you can see that I have two different sections here. We have one for bits, which is add to extension, and then one to reward. So that means your channel points. So you can see I've done a bunch of these, but if you wanted to do one yourself, so let's say you wanted to do this little, I don't know, this flashbang one, we can just click and drag it. You can drag it to your extension for bits, or you can drag it to your rewards for channel points. I'm primarily doing this for bits, so I'm gonna click on the add extension up there. It's gonna load, and now you can go to your visuals and sounds, click on my buttons. You can see I have all of the ones here, but if I go all the way to the bottom, you can see we have this new one. So if we click on the settings for it, we can change the name, add a delay. You can change how much it costs in bits. But if you're like, I don't wanna do all this stuff individually, like doing the volume and everything, what I did, was I actually just click this and then I did select all. And then now from here, and you can also change the edit bits button here. And then you can just change how much bits you want it to cost. So I'll do 200, I'll click save. And it's gonna change all of them to being a certain amount. So you can mass edit it. But if you're like, I don't want this one anymore, you can just click this little check button and then click remove. And it's gonna remove it from your buttons. You can also change the alert style. So if we go to settings and click on alert style, this is what pops up after the actual visual effect happens. and it 
shows who used what. So you can just pick a different preset here. I went with a green one because I like that green. You can also go and click general, and this is where you can change your global volume. So if you don't want to change the volume for everything, you can just change this little knob here. You can make it so they overlap. So if people are using a bunch of them, they all overlap and be crazy. If you want, you can enable it right there. And then you can put cooldowns here as well if you think you don't want them to be spammed. And if you want to use them for channel points, and you can do the same thing, but go down to add to rewards. You can see now we have one installed under the rewards. So we can just go down to your buttons. So you can see the ones in your extension, but if you scroll down, you can see your rewards, AKA your channel points, and you can click settings and change how many channel points it's gonna cost them in order to use it. So if we click save settings, we have it as 10 channel points. Now let's actually go and check everything out. But before we do that, if you guys want more helpful videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video so YouTube recommends my channel to you. So the first thing I wanna show you is what it actually looks like for the viewer. So if we go to your Twitch channel, we go to chat. I set mine as panel one, which I already have panels set up underneath here. So you can see that this is the panel. This is what they see. So they have the effects right here, the 200 bits ones that we set up. And then if we go to our channel points down here, you can see that the flashbang has now popped up under your actual channel points so they can trigger it that way as well. So that's what the viewer sees. So I've gone ahead and opened both the streaming software and the configuration. So that way you guys can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Hey guys, this is the editing Cody talking right now. I just wanted to say something. If you guys are using the desktop audio feature in your streaming software, then that's totally fine. But if for whatever reason your audio setup doesn't include desktop audio, then what you need to do is go to your visuals browser source. So double click the visuals browser source in OBS. This is the one that covers up the whole screen, not the other one. And so you'll go to control audio via OBS. You'll check that, click OK. This own visuals, this browser source, you can see the audio meter go up and down when you play the actual alert. You can adjust the volume here because if you're not using your general desktop audio, then the audio obviously won't pop up. So this is a nice workaround if that fits your case. If you're using desktop audio, then don't worry about it. But now let's actually test something because I'm sure you guys are tired of me talking. So we're gonna go to my buttons, which we're already under. We're gonna find one that we're gonna try out. Let's do the zombie one that we did for the video. We're gonna click settings. Now let's click test effect and give it a couple seconds. Keep an eye on a bunch of stuff here. You can see that it's popping up over my screen. It's popping on the OBS. And then it also is gonna pop up the actual alert after the effect so it can tell you who played what. So now let me actually boot up a game to show you guys that this works over your own screen as well. I'm gonna boot up this indie horror game that I just got just to show you guys that this is some random horror game. It's not some AAA game that's like made for this thing. Just to show you guys that it can pretty much work with any game that can do borderless or windowed mode. So open your game, whatever game you're playing, go to the settings tab. Tab, then go to the video settings or whatever kind of graphic settings they have and see if they have a borderless full screen mode. So this is a borderless full screen mode, which is great. Or you can click on it again and it'll give me the windowed option. So this would work, but I'm just gonna pop it up in windowed mode like so. So we're gonna switch to my phone camera just to show you guys everything that's going on. So I got my two monitors. I got my right monitor. This is Streamlabs OBS. That's what I'm using to record this video. And then I have my main monitor, which just has my game. So we need to open up up the little test effect button. So I'm just gonna click the test effect button. I'm gonna go back into my game. I'm playing my game. I'm streaming, I'm doing whatever and just wait. Oh my God, it popped up on my screen. So that's the cool thing about this alert system is that it really works for your game as long as you're playing in windowed or borderless mode. And then it also pops up on chat for them, which just makes it a lot more entertaining for everyone involved. If you guys are having any issues whatsoever, contact the own support team. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can reach them. But watch these other videos to the side of me. They're gonna help you out so much. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.